Okay, so we're at the Oblatorium in Pulse Vestige. Ah, darn it! I was trying to sneak up on them. You're gonna regret But I don't think you can really sneak in this game. We'll see, I might figure it out. Or you could just like walk slowly with the controller. Boomerang is almost as big as hope is. <laughs> I wonder how old they're all supposed to be. I mean, hope, I think he's like, I would guess he's like 12, 13, 14. feel like Hope wants to shoot the boomerang at Snow. <laughs> He's got a great opportunity right now. So, uh, the information we just got is that these are sea. And they were La Sea before, so they were humans before they became That's what I'm this. talking about! Kinda dark. If they lose their focus. If they don't finish you their focus. In. You gotta leave. <sighs> okay, listen. Find some place to hide and keep quiet. Once I find Sarah, we'll all leave together. <sighs> You'll be home in time for dinner. <laughs> you. Wait! Who's Sarah? My wife. Future wife, that is. She's a pulse, let's see. Oh. She's here somewhere, along with that foul sea. I gotta find her and set her free. What's wrong with you? Why do you want to help a sea? They're the enemy. Huh? It's How can his you save sea? He not. He not. That's insane! <laughs> Probably. But I gotta do something, right? I'll be back. Uh, should we wait around for him and hitch a ride? I'd rather go to Pulse! Why is this happening to me? When they found the foul sea the other day, we were just visiting Bodum. Um. But the army took us, threw us on that train. And because of that guy, Mom is... Probably shouldn't leave them alone. And he wants to help us, see? Mm. <sighs> hey again. Hey. Let's go with him. You gotta talk to him, Hope. If you don't take this chance, you regret it forever. It's better if he knows the truth Let's now go. that he talks with Snow. So he knows what actually happened. So he knows that Snow didn't abandon his mother. What's gotten into you, soldier? Thought you came for a fight. 
My sister. Your sister? She's a lassie. What? What? Post it's lassie? the Sarah? The Falci has her captive, but I'll find her. Uh, is she still... Hey, what was her focus? When she became a lassie, what did the Falci order her to do? Uh, it wasn't blow up cocoon or anything like that, was it? I didn't ask. <gasps> Listen to me. That's a pretty cool brand. When a person gets cursed by a foul sea, they become a lassie. And they get given a focus, right? How do I put this? If they don't carry it out, lassie end up as one of those things. What I'm saying is, if your sister's gone that far, I mean, she might still. How, how can I? Oh, man. There's no way to turn a Lassie back into a human. Even if she completes her focus, there's no changing her fate. She'll live her life as a foul sea slave. That's depressing. <sighs> Don't make her suffer. Just say it! Any Lassie, anyone who might ever become a Lassie should be wiped off the face of Cocoon. It's people like you that started the Purge in the first place. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down. We don't know his backstory. He went here for a reason too. Yeah, they look uh, pretty unhinged, if you ask me. Seath. When a false seat takes a human to be one of its lassie servants, that person is given a focus to be completed. Should the lassie fail to fulfill this focus before his or her brand advances to its final stage, that lassie becomes a seath. Brand? Mired in eternal sorrow and regret and robbed of all free will, Seeth are damned to wander the world, unliving and undying, until their corrupted flesh at last can move no more. For Seeth, there is no salvation. Uh, this sounds worse than death, especially if the mind is still intact. Whoa, I hope we don't see Sarah as a, as a Seeth. Pulselessly are cursed beings who wield supernatural power and whose very existence incites panic and destruction. Hope explodes into a rage upon hearing that Snow plans to rescue Sarah, now a lassie herself. Even if she is Snow's fiance, nothing good can come of helping a sworn enemy of Cocoon. The situation only serves to magnify Hope's hatred of the man he holds responsible for his mother's death. Uh, shaking with fury, he is unable to form the words he so desperately wants to say. Ah. We'll see how this works. Oh. Wow, what put this? Yeah. Oblivious to Hope's anger and worried for their safety, Snow decides to bring Hope and Vanille along on his mission. Meanwhile, Zash explains the cruel fate of a person cursed as a lassie. Lassie are bound in eternal service to a falsy, and failure to carry out a focus results in transformation into a mindless abomination, a seat. A person shackled by the lassie curse is beyond salvation. Okay, I have to pause, my cat just woke up. As Zash comes to his grim conclusion, Lightning angrily compares him to those who insisted on the purge. She knows fully well the doom that awaits Alassie and will do anything in her power to save her sister from that fate. I mean, of course, both Snow and Lightning wants to save Sarah. Uh... I mean, I'm guessing the sister is Sarah. 
that they're talking about the same person or they might be two different people some innocent kid gets picked as a see one day and winds up one of those what if there's like two sarahs one that snow knows and one that lightning knows and they then they can only choose one to say you never know well okay if i'm uh, if I remember this correctly, the foul sea can turn you into a pulse sea. Uh, a human, that is, will turn into a pulse sea if we get close enough. Uh, probably if it feels like threatened or something, or only just because we're close enough. Uh, so that's why Hope does not want to be here. Uh, no one else has really showed any particular emotion against being here they all seem to have a mission uh, Vanille I don't know she seems to like adventure but Hope is here because Snow is here then the rest of them Lightning and Snow is here for someone probably both of them for Sarah Dash I don't know. It did say in the data log though that there was something. But we don't know yet. <laughs> right. And if our mission as a let's see fails no if our focus fails then that means we will turn into this sea okay i think i'm remembering it correctly if not i'm just gonna reread it i think uh, zash actually explained it better i just can't do three things at a time I'm still curious about why Vanille has three ATP gorges while we have two. But maybe the other characters also have three? It's just Lightning that has two? Could be. No, but Snow also had two. Mm, well, we haven't played as the other characters. Uh, maybe we can't choose. Maybe it's just story driven. Like, okay, now you play as this character. Since we've played as Lightning and then Snow. Kinda hope that's how it's gonna be. Just because then you get to play every single character. And you can just choose who you want to play, uh, play as. Right now, I think playing as lightning is the most fun. No, not so much fun, but you know, we'll see how it ends up when we get to play all characters. Oh. No, let's hope this didn't happen to Lightning's sister. Then what? There might be a way to get her out of this form. And also, what happens if they manage their focus? I mean, if they complete their focus. Yeah, Zash said something about them not turning back into a human. They will always be able to see. That doesn't make any sense. Then why do you have a focus? If you're always gonna be the, be the false slave. Well, maybe there's some information that we just don't have yet. <laughs> wow. 
when I was reading, my cat just woke up. I think he had like a nightmare or something because he was meowing so frequently. It was like meow, 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 meow. But now he's fine. He just ate and now he's resting again. Just because someone stumbles. All oh, right, these these were humans once, right? Are these the humans from the Diacom that were locked inside? Probably, right? Ghoul, go, ghoul. Is that how you say ghoul? No. I was trying to backstab it. <laughs> Wonder how many ATB gorgeous or what were what was it named? Commands? No. Gorge probably. How many of those we are gonna have? <laughs> These may be the Psycom people that were locked into the Pulse Vestige. Or could there be other humans that entered? So far, I find this game very interesting. Because it feels like we started out knowing nothing. And now we're just head first heading into this and getting so much information. And I'm still a bit confused, but we probably get get that sold as well. Cortisol or Deceptisol? Should I? Should I try? Sneaking up on them? No! I was trying to go... Oh! It still works. I thought you had to be behind them only. Here. Whoa, this is a good elevator. Sturdy. Whoa, whoa, who's that? Was that a human? Are we gonna save someone? Sarah! I thought she had the same hair color. Time to go. We have to leave before the army. What? That's a Pulse brand. That girl's a Lassie. Yeah, but it's her sister. I already told you that. Pulse Lassie are the enemies of Cocoon. Dash? So they should die? Listen, if she fails her focus, you know how that'll end. And killing her is a mercy? You came. <gasps> Sarah! What timing? Okay, they were searching for the same girl. And it's the same Sarah, too. Sarah. Is that my hero? Is that where he got his hero talk? <sighs> Let's get huh? Does she know her? I'm taking her home. Sis. I'm, I'm not your sister. You couldn't protect her. 
It's your fault she can save us. Sarah? You can save us. Or protect us all. Save Cocoon. Save Cocoon? Okay. That was your focus? Anything. I'll do anything. Leave it to me. You'll see. I'll protect Cocoon. I'll save everyone. Somehow. I'll make things right. You just relax. He was trying so hard to smile. Did you see that? Oh, oh my god. What is happening? It feels like she's gonna disappear. Just turning to dust. Is she gonna- or is she gonna turn to a seat? Oh my gosh. Maybe we should have... No? Wait, what? No, no, why, why? He's turning into a... Uh... Well, see, it looks kind of like stone, so... A tear? Sarah! Sarah! He turned into a crystal? Why is she turning to crystal? The sea who fulfill their focus are transformed into crystal and gain eternal life. Just like the stories say. She fulfilled the focus? Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams? She's not sleeping! Sarah's... She's... <sighs> she's alive! No. The legend. Remember the legend! The sea who fulfilled their focus turned to crystal and gain eternal life. It's the same with Sarah. Eternal life. She's not dead. But she's in stone. Sarah's my bride to be. I promise to be hers forever. I don't care how many years I have to wait. <clears throat> it's over. Open your eyes and face reality. <sighs> Sarah, does becoming a lassie really mean losing everything? Did they know each other? Oh, wait. What now? The army. Okie dokie, what is the army doing in here? Weren't they all turned to see? No, they freaking went inside. The is Are they dumb? Place. No, oh, they're not. What is your status? <laughs> Good to go. Resistance is under control. The assault proceeds as planned. Leave no trace. The pulse vestige never existed. So that's what they're trying to do. Keep this a freaking secret. And what are they doing scanning it? Fire! They're firing the... We're all inside! Guys, I think we need to leave the Pulse Vestige. We could take Sarah's crystal form with us. There's probably some kind of cure or something. Hopefully. What's happening? It must be a Sanctum Strike! Bring down the vestige in the foul sea right with it. Aren't they taking it back to Pulse? That's what the patch was, right? All they care about is getting everything from Pulse off Cocoon. Dead or alive, it's all the same. We, we can't stay here. They'll kill us. That was so beautiful. How they shielded uh, Sarah's crystal form, both snow and lightning. I'll be right back. Hold on. Trench coat. Where you going? Trench coat. Day with the foul sea. Got some things to talk about. What? You're gonna ask it to help her? <laughs> are you out of your mind, kid? That thing wants to chew us up and spit us out. Well, well what do you want me to do? What? Lightning was also gonna go to the false seat, right? Lightning? <sighs> Here we go. 
I think I remember her telling Zash that. So is it gonna be a boss fight? I might die, I don't know, because I'm not used to this kind of battle system. <gasps> it's a little bit like um, Ten Two, just because it's in real time. <laughs> Need to read. Gift of Eternity. A legend on Cocoon states that if the sea complete the focus given by a false sea, they turn into crystal and gain eternal life. And just as the legend describes, Sarah, Sarah, Lightning's younger sister and fiance to Snow, glows with an incredible light and turns into crystal. But has she truly gained eternal life? And what focus has she completed? This timeless crystal sleep seems nothing more than another form of death to Lightning and she turns her feelings of grief and anger upon snow. Yeah, we saw that. But what was her focus? And she told us to save Cocoon. To help her. Or was that what she meant? Hmm. This is so interesting. Snow, however, refuses to give up hope of a future where Sarah will return to him. Just then, the Sanctum army begins its assault on the Vestige. Though it may mean sharing the Vestige's Im imminent destruction, the group heads ever deeper into the complex. Snow seeks to persuade the Falsi to release his fiancée, while Lightning and Zash have other plans in mind. Hmm. So... Uh, if they have different goals here... Lightning and Zash, do they want to beat up the false you? Since Snow wants to negotiate, but Dash and Lightning has something else on their mind. What if killing the false you wakes Sarah up from this crystal sleep? But it seems no, it seems too easy. It seems too easy. Enough potions if we're in a boss battle, but we don't have a single healer with us. All of these are just offensive characters. A save, yeah. Let's save before we do anything. I'm a little bit nervous. Farsi. It's a machine? Sarah's a crystal now. You gave her a focus, and she did it! You got what you want! Now let her go! I don't feel like it's gonna be easy. Please, turn her back! I'll be your Lucy instead! 
fine. You go on begging. Like this thing gives a damn what we want! Oh, yeah. She wants to fight. Well, that would probably might be my take as well. It's this thing's fault the purge started. And it's people who are dying. Sarah told us to save Cocoon. That means this thing needs to die. <laughs> okay, something is happening and I hear battle music. So we're gonna battle something. What's gonna come out? Me neither, it's too bright. What is that? What the? Think you can kill a Fauci? I'm doing this for Sarah. <laughs> Dodge. Dodge? It's probably someone very important to him. I'm in. As long as you don't mind an amateur. <sighs> I got these things. Might as well use them. Thanks. Let's go. What even is this? This thing. Anima? Did I just see that correctly? Yeah, Anima. Oh. Damn. It hit me quite hard. Okay, let's go for these arms instead. Yeah, it hits me quite heavily when I go for the middle. Maybe we need to neutralize the arms. Oh, 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 initiating regeneration. What is that? What is that? Well, we're a long way to stagger it. Oh, regenerated the arms. I didn't need to use a potion there. But I got scared, okay? I got scared. Good thing it didn't hit me there. Because I had not too much health. Yeah, we're far away from staggering it. Maybe I need to do some kind of special attack that I don't have. That was close. That was really close. What happened? Did we... What's going on? Did we win? What happened? It seems to be alive. If 
if that's it. Is that anima? Gosh. Okay, we did not make it. Oh shit, and now we get stuck. Uh, let me guess. It's turning us all into LSE. Oh. oh yeah. Okay. We're getting branded. Oh my gosh. Everybody gonna hate us now. We're not gonna go around talking freely with people. I hope we can at least make the make the brand not appear that much, like lo wearing long sleeves or something. Depending on where it is. Hope nobody got it on the face. Damn, it's falling. Are we falling to poles? What? It's turned to ice? Okay... When I couldn't see a future, and I was afraid. When the future was clear, and it hurt to see. I'd just close my eyes, and lose myself in happier days. There is something about Vanille. I mean, why would they have her as the narrator if she wasn't an important character? Hmm. Okay, now where are we? Happy music? Why I got cat hair in my mouth? Fireworks! Day 11. The seaside city of Bodom. Oh, this is before! Right? He's so cool. I like his hair. Excuse me. See you around. You know. No, but I want to. Uh, you just missed her. She said she'd be at the usual place. <laughs> She's so pretty. Thanks. Sorry about that. Now, who'd you say you were looking for? Oh my gosh, it's her! From the wallpaper! I don't know what's her name. But she is so cool looking. Gorgeous. What are we praying for? <laughs> Maybe I was. I was hoping that tomorrow I can tell my sister. Mm. She'll be so mad. Knowing I hid it from her? Yeah, don't worry. I'll take the blame for you. You know, you should ask for something bigger. These are wish-granting fireworks, like in the stories. Stories, huh? We'll see who fulfill their focus. They become crystal. And gain eternal life. <sighs> Would help if they gave you some clue about what you're supposed to do. <sighs> we'll figure this thing out. You will never be one of those monsters. <sighs> so what will I be? A crystal? Yesterday at the store, I got us something. I don't really? know much about jewelry, but I hope you like it. I 
will stand by you. No matter what happens, I'm yours forever. Sarah, my one, my only, will you marry me? He's a romantic guy. Yes. <laughs> How sweet. She said yes! <laughs> <laughs> Now I'm even more sad for them. Okay, we need to bring her back, you guys. <gasps> That's a lot of fireworks. Oh, what's this scooter looking thing? Oh, they're on it. You gotta love these fireworks. They granted my wish. Your wish? Before I asked you to marry me, I wished that you would say yes. Then maybe they'll grant mine too. What's that? To have the courage to tell Lightning that I've become a lassie. Hey, our engagement is way bigger news. <laughs> Lightning will understand. Oh man, I can't wait to see her face. <laughs> it's her sister, so. She'll be my new sister. <laughs> yeah. She didn't like him calling him her sister, so. She pretty much is angry with him. Whoa. <laughs> such a pretty scene. It's so romantic too. Hey, Snow. Yeah. <gasps> what? <laughs> Who ruined this moment? Gosh darn it. That was close. <laughs> In two ways. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. You know what? You barely see any romance in games. And this is so sweet. It's so beautiful. But sad. Since we also know what happened to her now. Thank you, Snow. They must both be so devastated, both Lightning and Snow. Lightning right now just seems really angry also, especially at Snow. For trying to, it feels like he's trying to give her a reason to believe that you can bring Sarah back, but she doesn't believe it. Huh? What is this place? What do you mean? Have you been here? Lake Brescia. Cocoon Lowlands. Didn't it turn to ice because of the vestige falling? This must be Lake Brescia? Or maybe it turned to ice because it fell. Well, I guess we fell from up there. And the lake turned to crystal? Mm-hmm. Help me out here! I mean, did the foul sea do this? How in the world did we end up here? How should I know? Uh, we're alive. How? Sarah! No one survives a fall from that high. Not without a miracle. 
Sarah saved us! Sarah? Listen, it's all your fault. She got... Oh. Hey, 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 hey! Watch out! I was more worried her crystal form just scattered. What? What the freak? It's from the brand? Hey, we're superhumans! Okay. The power of the sea. The foul sea curses. We're the sea now. Come on now, Hope. Having some magic isn't the curse. I love it. Oh, she's so cool. Oh my god. I aspire to be this cool. Paradig paradigm system. Uh, yes, give me all the tutorials. Definitely. You can assign characters the most effective roles for a given situation by changing your party's paradigm. Okay. A role. You can switch between paradigms as often as you like. First press LB to access your party's paradigm deck. We have a deck with roles. Each paradigm assigns specific roles to the members of your party. These roles define the spells and abilities available to a party member as well as their general behavior in combat. Uh -huh. Yeah, see there, we have right now Commando, Ravager, Ravager. Build attack chains more easily with enhanced strength. Charge enemy chain gods with concentrated attacks. Okay, so Relentless Assault, where we have it on now. Then there's Solidarity. There's a wide vari variety of paradigms to choose from. Offensive paradigms con concentrates on dealing damage to enemies, while defensive paradigms uh, focus on party protection and healing. It is very important to shift paradigms to suit your situation. Uh, you can press this and that to scan the paradigms available and see the list of roles that each compromise. comprises. I can't read. Your current paradigm, Relentless Assault, is an offensive paradigm in which multiple attackers coordinate their efforts. The paradigm to Ravagers target whichever enemy the commando attacks. Oh, with the goal of quickly filling the enemy's chain gauge in order to stagger it. If you wish to continue using the Relentless Assault paradigm, press B to close the paradigm deck. If you wish to change paradigm, select the new paradigm and then press A. Aha, uh -huh. okay. But if it's telling me relentless assault is good, then then I'm gonna use it. One of your party members has just taken damage. Now might be a good time to open your paradigm deck and shift to a defensive paradigm like solidarity. Oh, Shifting to solidarity will cast Snow into the role of a sentinel, boosting his defenses so he can shield others from enemy ire. Vanille's role will change to medic, causing her to concentrate on healing wounded allies with the cure spell. Finally! <laughs> Once your party has recovered its strength, you can shift back to Relentless Assault and continue battling your enemies. Okay... So this is how you play the game. You will get more roles, I'm thinking. <laughs> more like paradigm decks and just switch between them that is very interesting or they just have one set of role no because he changed into a sentinel when he was a ravager okay so we really are lissy uh. <sighs> oh, looks like it all of you us too? Yep. Right here. Almost on the butt. Let's see to the last. <sighs> Why me? I don't even know you. 
But you have to go and attack that thing? Just leave me alone. It's your fault. It's your fault, my... You could have. Is he gonna say it? All of this is your and Sarah's fault. Watch it. <sighs> was not was what I was thinking he would say. <sighs> Sorry. Uh, everything is gonna be all right. You'll see. He's so caring. Come on. <sighs> Off we go. Okay, guys, let's not split up. We need to stay together. Because I have no clue what this Lake Brescia is. And you guys probably know. The sea, huh? Yep. We're all planning for Team Pulse now. <laughs> Ugh, why me? I think we're all thinking that. Why me? Well, we were too close. Pulse and Menace. Snow pleads with the Paul's falsy. He offers himself in Sarah's place if it will release her from her fate. The falsy remains silent. Seeing Snow's desperate pleas go unanswered, Lightning and Sash draw weapons on the lower world being. Even if the falsy will soon be destroyed along with the entire vestige, they have reasons to defeat it with their own hands. Hmm. So Sash also has a reason. Is it because of Dodge, or is it just because he hates Falsi? They work together to bring down the Falsi, and the Vestige now plummets towards the lake below. A final wave of power explodes from the dying Falsi. Oh, it died? Transforming the water and surrounding area into solid crystal. Lightning and the others do not witness this breathtaking event upon uh, defeating the Falsi. They are drawn through a rift into a dimension where an immense otherworldly presence awaits? What? What kind of... Onto their bodies, it sears cursed brands. Onto their minds, the vision of a beast destroying cocoon. Swept along by unimaginable energies, the helpless companions are swallowed in a lightless void. As snow drifts in the darkness, one memory f fights to the surface of his consciousness. Hold on, so that being we saw when we fell, that was that other being? It was not Anima? Lightning feels nothing but anger towards the post falsi It had taken Sarah and cursed her with a, a lassie doomed existence. It is the underlying reason for the purge, and it is an enemy to be cut down if she is fully to fulfill Sarah's final request to save Cocoon. Lightning's aggression provokes the Falsi into action, and it attacks her. Zash draws his guns with grim resolve, and Snow joins the battle without hesitation. As they deal the killing blow to the mass master of the Vestige, a flash of light rends the air. Oh, But is that also our focus to save Cocoon? Did she transfer it to us? They are pulled into a swirling void of chaos where they are bound by an ominous and inexorable entity. Branded with arcane markings, the companions are then assaulted with the vision of a terrible beast tearing Cocoon apart. Soon after the Vestige finally succumbs to the combined attacks of the Sanctum forces, in the m midst of the chaos, a memory surfaces from the depths of Snow's fading awareness. A marriage proposal made to his beloved Sarah under a night sky, lit with the colors of exploding fireworks. Can his wish for a happy future ever be granted now? <gasps> oh, I really hope so. But also, this freaking beast that we saw, what was that? Who is that? I thought it was like Anima and we didn't kill him. Day 10 gifts? It would be Lightning's birthday in two days. While out shopping for her present with Sarah, Snow slipped away to buy engagement necklaces. Oh, we saw these. He intended to propose to Sarah the very next day. He knew her fate as a lessee, but meant to stand by her, no matter what. Meanwhile, Sarah searched for a gift that would help 
keep Lightning safe during her dangerous work as a soldier. After giving her sister the present, Sarah planned to confess about becoming a lessee. I think Lightning would have understood. She would have understood. She wouldn't be happy about it. She would be very worried that people would be after Sarah. Snow proposed to Sarah under the brightly exploding fireworks, giving her renewed hope for the future. Sarah still didn't know what her focus was, and had yet to tell Lightning about her lassie curse. But with Snow by her side, there was no obstacle they couldn't overcome. Hand in hand, they watched the spectacle of lights illuminate the night sky. In Bodom, there is a legend. If you wish on the fireworks, your dreams will come true. Hmm, well... I guess she's alive, but in crystal form. Uh, oh my gosh, this is such a mess. And we all turned into Paul's Lassie. Crystal stock? What? So this is what happened to her. Paul Lassie's successful completion of a focus holds the promise of eternal life in the peaceful slumber of Crystal Stasis. Stasis, or so the legends say. Yet to spend an eternity as an immobile crystal is not so very different from death. The people of Cocoon consequently fear being marked as a Lassie, equating the Falsies brand with a death sentence. Faced with only the choice between eternal damnation as a Seath and eternal imprisonment in crystal, it comes as little surprise that many Lassie decry their fate. Eternal imprisonment? Is that where Sarah is now? But we can save her, right? Oh gosh. Bodom. This modest city by the sea is the hometown of Lightning and Sarah, as well as that of Snow and the members of Nora. Known for its relaxing, resort-like atmosphere, the location is a popular destination for vacationers. Odom's largest tourist draw is its annual beachfront fireworks display. But this year's event was ruined by the discovery of the Pulse Pulse Sea within the nearby Vestige. The Sanctum quarantined the city on the day after the discovery, announcing its plan to purge Bodom's entire population, along with the hapless tourists to pause. What? The entirety of Bodom? These Sanctum people are freaking insane. Lake Brescia is located near Cocoon's outer rim, directly beneath the hanging edge. Once a bustling center of activity, this desolate area is now home only to monsters that lurk amongst the centuries-old remnants of civilization. Uh, the final wave of power released by the falling Pulsefall Sea has locked the waters of the lake in solid crystal form, creating a beautiful and unsettling landscape. Well, it indeed is very beautiful, will not lie. I mean, if it's not cold, I'd like to go there. The Fall Sea. Anima. This Fall Sea had been hibernating deep within the Bodom Vestige. It branded Sarah as well as Lightning, Snow and the others, condemning them all to the grim fate of Pulse Lassie. Although it appears Anima was brought to Cocoon in the Vestige centuries ago, Sanctum authorities had no knowledge of the alien stowaway's presence. Its discovery and the resultant fear that Bodom's population may have been tainted by its magic spawned the purge. <gasps> that is so sick! To just want to wipe out the entire civilization off of Bodom. Okay, these Sanctum people are cuckoo! Very, very, very cuckoo. Okay, I just don't want these exclamation marks to be here. So I'm just gonna... Just gonna press every single one of them. Well, I'm not gonna skip a cutscene like ever. 
Unless I die. Okay, what is this? Yes, we already... And this we already read as well. Mm. Enemy intel... All the enemies? Oh, we can see their weakness and such. Okay. That don't matter. Paradigm. Can customize and generate. Okay. Can we create more? Commando, Ravager, Ravager. Commando, Sentinel, Medic. What can lightning have other than that? I think we're good like this, actually. We'll just continue until we get more tutorials. I think we have two good ones. Feels like this game is gonna be very strategic. Love that. Sad boy. Okay, if we don't know our focus, how do we complete it? I think I saw it. Hmm? Saw what? That is how a focus comes down, people. The Fauci, they don't spell it out with clear cut instructions. All you get is a hazy glimpse. We saw that. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, that's what they say. You know, legends and all. Hmm. Legends. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see anything? <sighs> I, uh, I just, it's all kind of foggy, but I saw this big, I mean, towering. What, what, wait a minute. Hold on now. Do we all have the same dream? Oh. Ragnarok. 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 What? So, we all saw the same dream. We all heard that same voice. Is that what they meant with the otherworldly present? You mean that was our focus? But how are we supposed to know what to do from that? Mm -hmm. That's the tricky part. Huh. The dream's the only hint the Falsi gives us. Figuring out what to do with it, that's our job. Okay, okay. We're pulselessy, right? Enemies a cocoon. So, does that mean that our focus is... Are we supposed to... Save her. Say what? Our focus is to protect cocoon. Really? Okay, and why's that? Sarah told us. Let's do it. We're all in this together. I'm gonna look for Sarah. She ought to be nearby. Uh, but we got a different dream. Well, Sarah did say, right. say, save Cocoon. But we had a different kind of that dream. That can't stay still. Really? I'm confused. Maybe we are supposed to save Cocoon. And just don't mind this dream. But do we not fail our focus then? Crystarium tutorial. Having become Lassie, the members of your party can now develop their powers, learning new abilities or improving attributes such as strength, magic, and HP. Woohoo! Okay, here we go. So we got a system. I mean, of course. Yes, show me this tutorial. Uh, the crystarium is now accessible from the menu. Select it with this and blah blah blah. Yes, sh choose your character. That will do. Oh, this was so pretty. This is the crystarium which allows you to develop a character's abilities in various roles. Huh, okay. Lightning has Commando and Ravager. 
uh, can currently yeah i see that has its own path of development okie dokie as you can see the ruin crystal is illuminated illuminated crystals represent known abilities lightning can use the offensive magic spell ruin whenever she is playing the role of commando mm hmm okie dokie the crystal next to ruin is still dim dimmed but by expanding extending the line of crystogenesis to reach it lightning can obtain the crystal and its benefits oh so if we go this way we will get strength you can advance the path of crystogenesis by holding a doing so will consume a crystogen okie dokie and uh, we have 101 go ahead and advance lightning's path of crystogenesis press a okay gradually consuming cp and we have 101 okay we obtained one. Oh, there's some kind of ability up there uh, abilities can only be used when it, in the corresponding role but attribute points bonus attribute bonuses like this one apply across all roles at times you must direct the course of crystogenesis like now i want that life sifun that's how you pronounce it uh, normally the line will advance until you run out of cp however it will stop automatically automatically at branching points like the strength plus four crystal you just obtained okie dokie you continue advancing crystogenesis here hold a and press yeah oh i went the other way well there's a ability here too okie dokie i think i get it oh we have zero points <laughs> uh. okay the water is still find a way out of here you can worry about everything else later okay let me just check around I'm so excited. I just want to go ahead and fight. Ragnarok. Lightning, Snow and the others saw a phantom vision of this beast upon their branding as Lassie. In the dream, they witnessed the creature besieging Cocoons, capital of Eden. But whether this was a glimpse of past events or a vision of things yet to come was unclear. What is clear is that Ragnarok is inextricably linked to their focus. The nature of that focus and what must be done to fulfill it remains to be seen. Yeah. Is he gonna be on our team or something? I don't know. I don't have a good feeling about this. Also because of its name. Uh, branded after being caught in the destruction of the vestige the group awakens directly directly under the hanging edge on the expanse of a solidified lake brescia an after effect of the energies released by the dying fall sea the waters of the lake are now frozen in crystal splendor despite having survived a fall from an incredible height the companions are unable to appreciate their luck as each one of them now bears a brand of alien design the mark seared on their bodies signifies their servitude to a falsy and the gift of magical power it is the brand of a cursed lassie worse they must now complete their assigned focus if they are to avoid becoming monstrous seeth though none can say for sure what their mission actually entails their only clue is the vision they all witnessed of the great beast laying waste to Cocoon, Ragnarok. Uh, though all signs point to a bleak and tragic destiny, no alone remains optimistic. Convinced that his focus is to grant Sarah's wish and save Cocoon, he sets off full of confidence. Well, Sarah wants us to save Cocoon, that's what she said. But we don't know. Because we don't know what kind of vision we got. There's gotta be a way through here somewhere. Let's go things out ahead. Watch the others, will you? 
Okie dokie. Well, this is where I end this episode. So thank you so much for watching and bye bye.